Hey guys, it's Genesis Pro, and welcome back to another episode of Terra Solo. Last time, we made our way here to Azarel's Labyrinth, as you can see on the map. We're heading over here soon. We're going to do a couple quests out here, and then we're going to head into Azarel's Labyrinth and begin the search for Kutmashik's Teleportal. Kutmashik's, something like that. Anyway, so to get started, we need to do these other quests. So we have to do find a croc, uh, crocuda hide, kill ten tawny saber tooths, gather three mugadu masks, get two shetla fibers that I don't have for some reason. Oh, they're in my bank. That's why. And then uh, ten mugatos. So we're just gonna hunt down these mugatos and all these monsters, and we're gonna kill them really quickly. Also, apologies if I sniffle a lot. I I uh, was doing some work the last couple of days and I got a bunch of dust in my nose and it's not been going well. So there's our first Mugato pile. That we're also going to pick up. We need three of these because we need to get the Mugato masks, which are in piles. You know, they're just piles of skulls. There's another one over there. So we're going to head up there and start collecting those tawny saber tooths. It's going to be a bit of a slower start because. <clears throat> we're doing a ton of these just generic collection quests and um, uh, oh, what was the quest type called again um, doing collection quests for these and then just um, pro I don't remember what it's called but it's like a kill the thing whatever it, I don't remember anyway just keep killing. I don't think this actually Gula Brigand is ever important. But I don't remember for sure. Anyway, so we have one quest done. Keep killing at Tawny Sabertooths. Wait. Oh no, I got the masks. I still need to kill, kill the Mugatos. I don't know why for some reason I thought I killed 10 Mugatos. Oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. Oh, that's, the, that's a Gula Brigand. It looked like something else. Anyway, Tawny Sabertooths. I don't want to go too far up. Because I do have to head down to get those um, Krokuda um, hides. Which are these guys. Alpha and Armored Krokudas. I killed ten of these. Actually, since they drop, since I have to get an item they drop, it's probably not 100% drop rate. So I might have to, oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh well. Um, there is also a couple achievements we're going to do in this episode that uh, one of them is for the world boss thing. We're going to kill an enemy, but then another one is for uh, the Vista achievement, so keep that in mind. I'll see if I can remember that. I mean, I have a tab open on my thing, so to remind me, but you know it's full act to remember. So I need to kill one more Mugato and one more Tawny Sabertooth. That's done. Where's the Mugato? Oh, come on. There's one. Oh, another one spawned. Good. We're going to kill you. You did. Now come over here to kill the Krakutas. Yeah, I could have used Bull Run earlier, but I decided not to. Also, sorry for talking a little bit quieter this time. Um, people are sleeping, so don't want to wake them up. Okay, so we got all that. So now we just need to get the Shetla Fibers. Um, I do not believe there are any fiber locations nearby. At least to here. So I'll hold on to that because... Eventually, we're going to go back to Ostagarth, uh, or Cutthroat Harbor, and then come back here. So, I could also actually just go back and then teleport here with the safe haven. In fact, you know what, I'm actually just going to do that. I know it seems like a waste, but I just want, I'm going to do it. Because I don't want to worry about this quest more later. That is the one. Uh, I'm looking at my second screen to make sure I have the Vista achievement set up properly. I 
I wonder why this is taking longer to load than it usually does. Um, okay, bank. I need to get two Shetla fibers. Also, we're going to get into this. This is another instance that we need to do ten times. I'm going to do that end game. So I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon, but that is just something in case you guys want to get some uh, extra experience. You can do that now. Okay, now we're back at the Relic Hunter Outpost. We're going to turn in all these quests. Turn in that one. Turn in these two. Uh, come over here. I believe you have the Silver Quest. Oh. Um, okay, I did turn it in. So, Beholder of Darkness. That was short. Oh, just talk to Glorine. Oh, and then she gives me some quests for inside the dungeon. Okay. Um... I have Shetla fibers. Those are Silva fibers. <sighs> I'm going to look around for some Silva fibers. I will be back in a little bit once I've found some. I'm back. It turns out I had some Shetla fibers just in my bank, and I accidentally picked up Silva fibers instead of Shetla fibers. I now have two of them. Now we're going to teleport back out to Relic Hunter Outpost, which means I wasted 15 silver, I think. I think it was 15 silver. 15 silver. Wow, that was disappointing. I can't believe that I accidentally picked up Silva. <laughs> I didn't find any on my way back, but it did turn out that I just had some in my bank. Anyway, now we have a bunch of quests we have to do inside of the labyrinth. I'm going, I want to do the Vista achievement first, since it's outside of the labyrinth. Anyway, so what we want to do is if I move that over, where are you? You are over here. Get on my mount. I'm gonna ignore those guys for now. I don't need to worry about them. I want to head over this way. A place to go up. Put that over there. I think it's here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at a map. It's telling me where to go. I don't want to go up here. But it didn't kick me off. It kicked me off. Okay, so it's starting to look a little bit familiar. It's gonna kick me. Or not, that's nice. Okay. Um, then I wanna go up here. Um, hmm. Not a hundred percent sure. Okay, um. Okay, so I'm going up there. This achievement should be up there at the top. Um. So let's just make our way up there and check it out when we get there. Shouldn't take too long. Also, I'd never mentioned it before, but being on your horse here is a very good idea because if you take a fall, um, you don't get the stun animation and keep keep falling. You actually just kind of stop. And here's the wall of wordcraft. Bam. Vista achievement. This is Vista Islands too. And that's it for the Southern Iron Vistas. Ta-da! Did the other one already? It's been a long time since I recorded the last episode, guys. So I am... I don't fully remember which ones I did. But apparently... Oh, that's not the wrong one. I want V. <coughs> apparently, Encounters and Exploration, Southern Iron. 
Cutthroat Vista, Oblivion Vista, Vista Islands 2, and now we have the Sodarn Vistas, which means now we deal additional damage with all of our attacks. Which is why it's a good idea to go around and pick up these achievements. Anyways, with that completed, I want to check a couple. What else do I have that I'm close to doing? Okay, I need seven more superior items. I need 19 more uncommon items. Um, oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay, we're doing another achievement here. I will meet you guys back down over here at the entrance to Azrael's Labyrinth, and then we will keep going from there. Okay, I'm back. So now we're here at the entrance to Azrael's Labyrinth, and we are going to make our way inside. But first, I want to kill a bunch of these Gula Pillagers, because we need to for a quest. Get some creepy eyeballs. And we can ignore these bandits because they don't give us anything we want. Just need to worry about the pillagers. Wow, that was pathetic. At least I instantly killed you. So grab that, and that, and then two more up here. Okay, grab that. And the Akahest. And charge inside. So we can get the um, creepy eyeballs in a lot of places. We don't have to get it up here. As you can see, we can get it over there or over here from the Al Alizarian Imp Warders. So I'm going to talk to Jaskus, and he's going to give us some more quests. So to get Butcher's Knives from the Gula Butchers. <laughs> and we need to get Soldier ID tags from the rem remnants of uh, soldiers throughout the Labyrinth. And we need to also get Gula Brains from the butchers as well and oh no we get the butchers knives from the gut slashers and then we also get uh, stalkers horns from labyrinth and stalkers labyrinth and stalkers actually has to do with an achievement so we're gonna have to keep that in mind anyway yeah, just run around, easily kill these, especially if you're the brawler with the with the AoE. The Cayman Cooks die really easily. This is like a joke. It's really easy. Anyway. Just gonna keep doing this. It honestly feels like all of this takes a lot longer. Like, I've, I've been looking back, I've been editing a bunch of the earlier episodes recently, because I've had some time. And just looking back at like how quickly completing these quests is, it feels like when you're doing it, it takes so much longer than it actually does when you're looking at a clock. I don't know why, it's just weird. Anyway, we are going to do all of this. Gula brains are done. Next thing we need to do is head off this way, get creepy eyeballs and butcher knives. Okay, the gut slashers are in here. Oh, I thought I picked that up. Anyway, so the labyrinth is really complicated. There's a bunch of doors. Like, you'll see a door like this that you can break, and then you'll see the other ones that you can't. The reason for that is the doors that you can't break, you have to ignore until you defeat the monster that's on the other side, which are in these big rooms. You have to empty these two rooms in order to open these two doors. It's really complicated and annoying, but it's unfortunately the way it works in here. So, kind of gonna have to deal with it. Give me creepy eyeballs. There's eight. I need two more. There's our labyrinth and stalker buddy. So, that's the ten creepy eyeballs. That's good. That quest is good to go. So, now we have three more stalker horns, butcher knives, and ID tags. Unfortunately, ID tags. Oh, they're not on the next floor. Oh, no, I know what the ID tags are for. Okay, that was my bad. Anyway, hello, Mr. Labyrinth and Stalker. I'm going to kill you. Goodbye. Oh, nice. That was actually a really, really, really close defense. <laughs> um, I want to check. Do I already have these achievements? Yeah, okay, I already got Fusion Bomb. I just wanted to make sure I did, like I said, it's been a long time. I wanted to make sure I got Fusion Bomb and I didn't end up repeating an achievement set. 
Alizarian imps. Okay, so now since see, because I killed those two guys, the door opens. So, unfortunately, that's what you have to do to open those doors. So if they're closed, they're closed. You can't get through from the, from the, from that side. We got three tags from that. Jeez. Can I get two from this one so I get a nice five without having extras? Yeah, lucky, lucky me. And now I'm actually going to not exit there. I might go back this way, especially since hopefully the Labyrinth and Stalker hasn't respawned. Yes, good. He respawned. We're actually going to see a lot of these guys, and we're going to need to kill 30 for an achievement. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Labyrinth and Stalkers. In fact, it's their counterpart that's harder to find, which is um, which I'll get to later because we don't have to do anything with them right now. <laughs> and I actually don't think they're on this floor. I think they're only on the lower floor. Anyway, we're gonna head back out here into the labyrinth. I can bust this door down. And more gula butchers that I want to ignore. Butchers, butchers. Wow. Can I just counter and destroy this door? No, it takes two of them. Anyway, here's some more gut slashers. <laughs> Bye. Give me your butcher's knives. For some reason, the butchers aren't giving me butcher's knives, but the gut slashers are. Logic. It's also because they're trying to make sure that each enemy drops some item for a quest. Because they want to make sure that every single one of them does something. Most of the time. There are some exceptions. Ah, no, those are the imp watchers. Anyway, Mr. Labyrinth and Stalker. Hello. There we go. That's three and four. No, this is the counterpart, the Ezreal Juggernauts. We also need to kill 30 of these guys. So, I believe it's 30. It might be 20, but I'm pretty sure it's 30. Um, actually, now that we have them, I can check the achievement. So if we go under... Um, I believe it's Encounters and Exploration, so they're not in. Should be, yeah, okay, the maze mastered. Okay, we gotta kill 20. So we kill 20 Labyrinth and Stalkers, 20 Azrael's Juggernauts, and Tabrook, which is a world boss. <laughs> which, by definition, means he's going to be kind of hard to find. I have his spawn locations on my second monitor as well, so hopefully he won't be too hard to find. But we will see. Hopefully he's on these channels and he hasn't been just hunted clean. Which, if he's not, I'm going to do, because I need 5,000 world bosses. I have not also gone back and farmed any of the um, previous world bosses to try and uh, pad that achievement yet, because I just haven't had time, really. So that number is still sitting at whatever it was before. That hasn't changed. Oh, dang, you moved. There's four. And now that's done. Oh, I want the hexages. What am I doing? I want the hexages. No, I don't want bitter ones. So hexage, if I look at this, I already have it. Guys, I am totally out of it. <laughs> it's been so long. I miss this game. I want to play more. I still haven't broken a thousand hours and I'm so close. Anyway. Now we're going to head out, because if I remember correctly, hold on, if I look at my map, I head down. Oh no, there's a bunch here. Okay. So we, before we head out, we're just going to head downstairs in between battles. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to reference that. It's probably not a good idea. Copyright problems. So we're going to head over here, kill these gut slashers so we can get through. We're going to head down the stairs into the dungeons. God, I've been making some really bad references recently. Like, 
awfully bad. <laughs> like, at one point we had to go upstairs to do something, and so I referenced a really, really old computer game. It's like, up the stairs to enter the ride. And bonus points to anybody who knows uh, what that reference is. Because that is an old game, and that was like my childhood. I don't know why, but it was pretty bad that it was my childhood. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna pick up these quests here, which just require us to kill some monsters to pretty much avenge these dead guys. So for the drop journal and the dead centurion. We scroll down here, we need to kill cultists, uh, Lokians in the gallery to get their weapons, kill Gulas and their Cayman allies to get the Halidome fragments, kill five Azrael juggernauts and labyrinthine stalkers for demon teeth, and go find Lamicus and kill him. So I believe here we can potentially, yeah, we can. Unless I was just killing the wrong guy. Oh yeah, I was killing the wrong guy. So I need to kill the Gortmons. These guys can drop the Halidome fragments. Anyway, we're going to go deeper into the dungeon. And I'm going to see. I'm going, actually I need to check now, switch over to this one. He spawns on the, I'm going the other way. I'm going over there. Yeah, see I was killing the Butcher. Doesn't drop the items. Anyway, we're going to go this way. And we're going to be on the lookout for a very specific enemy that I want to kill. Normally, I've seen him in this room. Even though he's technically not supposed to spawn here based on what I see in here. I've seen him in two locations. You ready? Okay, he's not here. Oh no, he was in the next area. My bad, he wasn't here. I've seen him in here before. Which is weird because it says he's not supposed to spawn here, but I've seen him in here before. Wow, 20%? And I still killed him. Jeez. Anyway. Um, by the way, for Maze Mastered, entering this area is wise. Because there are a lot of things to kill in there that are Azrael Juggernauts and Lokian Lab or Labyrinth and Stalkers. So four weapons. Nice thing is this area will give us like 10 or 12 weapons just off the bat. There's so many guys here. Okay, kill you. You only gave me one. How darest you? There's two more. So again, I thought it said Blood Major instead of Blood Rager, and I was confused. Now the champion... And the Blood Rager. There we go. That's 11. Um, we are supposed to go this way. I'm not going to go that way yet. I'm on the lookout. Okay. So. It's not here. I'm going to check. Uh, do I, want, I want, don't want to check other channels. I'll do that later. And the other spawn location is out. So we're going to kill these, get the items, run in here, and start murdering some labyrinth and stalkers with demon teeth. Okay, there's two. Don't need another pounding hexage. Still on cooldown. I killed him in less than 16 seconds. Anyway, now we're going to kill you. dead good 50 silver love it we're gonna go up <laughs> not technically up and we're gonna kill you done like really really easy kill anyway and then I want to go this way there's another there's an Azrael juggernaut they're significantly rare so you really want to hunt them down um, their spawn rooms, by the way, are like these rooms that have this icon as opposed to this. So if you're just looking around, you can look in those specific rooms to see if you can find them. What the hell are those guys doing in here? Anyway, that's it. We got all five demon teeth, but we're going to need to keep hunting these guys. So this door opened because we killed him. I'm actually going to exit.
No, it may seem like a stupid idea. I'm gonna do it. Because I'm on the lookout for some world bosses in here. Some. I'm just looking for one. Anyway, I can break this door down. Good. And I got no halidome fragment. What about from you guys? Okay, I did get one. Here, we're gonna go this way. And good old world, world boss ain't around here. Okay, so I'm going to change channels. Unfortunately, that means I'm gonna lose my uh, rage, but it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, Mr. World Boss, this is, he's not here, so we're going to go around. Can I still destroy this door? Okay, good. Whoa. That was a lot of zealots. Anyway, they're all dead. I have potentially seen this boss in other places than is listed. Oh, there he is, Mr. Tabrick. He is indeed the world boss we are hunting. I have seen him in multiple places that aren't the two that are listed. But I don't know if that was maybe before like the revamp of world bosses or whatever. But anyway, here we are. Hello, Mr. Tabrick. We are going to have a party now. He's dead. Dash, save that. So, that is Tabrook. And now, if we do two achievements, so if we look at Maze Mastered, we killed Tabrook, which was necessary. If we look at Rule Arin, we killed Tabrook. Look at that. We only have four guys left. Almost half Rule Arin. It's beautiful. Anyway, I am going to check the other two channels very quickly and see if I can find some more of him. And then I'm also going to go grind out. Uh, the other guys. I can speed that up. Oh, Tabrick is here too. Um, I can potentially speed it up. I don't know if I will. I, uh, it's going to be a lot of running, so... You know what? I think I will. Bro, stop hitting so hard. Mm. Wow. I am hungry. Hmm, that's a blocked in time. He's dead. Now I'm going to check channel 4. Oh, I don't have the heal move. Oh, unfortunate. There's a move where you spend half of your fury to restore 40% of your of your maximum HP and MP. It would be really nice. Anyway. Hello, Mr. Tabrook. I'm going to kill you. He's a little bit tankier than the other guys. Because they took uh, 3,800 from my rampage, whereas he only took 2,900. Anyway, so that is all four Tabrook slayings. I will collect potential. Oh, okay, no, perfect. Okay, so the last quest I do need to do. Oh, I, comp I need to get Lamacus, Lamacus head, which I will get in a minute. But for now, so we're, what, like 28 minutes into this? I'll go ahead and speed this up while I go kill everything. Oh, let me murder all these things. I'll speed this up, and we'll play some more music, because i got a bunch of epic tracks I want you guys to hear. So, I will speed this up, and I will be back whenever I finish it. Don't tell me. 
pain seems to follow Like a shadow dark and cold to the touch Am I insane not to let go? Oh, go on, just do what you do Okay, so I'm back, and we got the Maze Mastered Achievement. I don't know where it went. There it is. We got it, and so we get the title of Amazing. And uh, during that period, I did end up leveling up to level 39. As you can see here, 39. And that was pretty much, that's all that really happened. That took about, what, 20 minutes? It took about 18 minutes, 19 minutes. And now we are going to go and get Lamicus's skull. So... Gonna head over here. Gonna slaughter these guys so we have some free access. And we're gonna go through the main antechamber. And why is there a teleportal to Sam Miles residence? I don't know. <laughs> but we're gonna head on through here. And we gotta kill Lamicus, Lord of the Labyrinth. And it's really easy, you can just trigger everybody. This is one of the, one of the things I like doing, is I like triggering oh wait, wrong guys. I want you. Come here. Then I want you, and then I want you, and then I want you, and goodbye everybody. And that is literally slaying everybody except for that one guy who stood way far back. Anyway, now we have Lamaku's head. Now we just need to deliver it to Trifina at Relic Hunter Outpost. But for now, we're going to go to uh, Kumachu's Teleportal. And then probably soon after that, we're going to end the episode. So I do not want to go to Samael's residence. You guys can stay there. I don't need you. Hello. Die. And so we're just going to head down the hall here. We're not going to see Tabrick again for another uh, like two hours, three hours. No, it's going to be two hours. So anyway, the two places that he spawned was one was over here and one was over here. Just recapping. So, I have before seen him over here, and I have seen him in here before. So, I don't know if potentially those are extra places that haven't been noted or what, but... Um, since I don't have any extra information, I'm just gonna say that for now it's just the other two spots, because those two are also confirmed. So, we gotta break down this door. Gotta get rid of this... Gourmand Gula. We don't actually have to, but I prefer to because he's in the way. Now that that's cleared out, 
Let's go into this teleportal. Or let's at least check it. Relics of a bygone age is the quest. So now we need to enter the, the portal, kill Kumashu, and collect the accursed lands. Kumashuks. Ugh. Unfortunately, entering teleportals, changing things it makes your rage bar go to zero. So, gotta go this way. This place looks familiar, doesn't it? This is the, uh... I don't remember what the name of the place was. It was the, uh, mines of some kind. Tenebrous Mines. That's what it was. So, we pretty much just need to go through here. You don't need to kill any of these enemies. They're completely optional. You can just walk by all six of them. And you have to kill Kumashuk over there. But these guys have a really big aggro radius. So they might notice you just while you're walking around. They don't drop anything, unfortunately. They don't give experience, but we gotta kill Kumashuk. So he's dead. And now we need to leave, but we can kill um, Priest of, Priestess of Darkness, Akia. So she escapes, unfortunately. So now we can exit the teleportal, go back to the Relic Hunter outpost, which is why I wanted to do all the stuff before progressing the story. And now we need to bring Gid's Lance to Bar Baralias at Relic Hunter outpost. And then at one point we do end up have to go, we do have to go back inside one more time, so we can turn in the quests over here at Jaskus. So. I'm actually going to do these first, and then I'll go over and do that. I'll do that at the end of the episode, so I can come back here in between episodes. And remember, we're gonna turn in all these quests. Cure for crazy. Uh, we got bork, bork, bork for finishing one of the quests. It's got it's either tours of that a tours of duty. Bork, bork, bork. Okay, completed the cook the chef's achievement. There we go, or quest. Cure for crazy, really short, simple, sweet. And we talked to Barlyas. We got our big reward. And so we also, because we got we get hands of Velika rewards for completing these quests, our reputation went up to wavering. <laughs> and we're gonna take that quest. We're gonna talk to Dogal. So hold on, if I go to K, because I'm or L, my bad, because I missed what was happening. Uh, follow the betrayer. All the evidence, the letters, and lance. Uh, okay, the plan is to arrest Samuel publicly so everyone sees that no one is above the law. We plan to block Samuel's escape route so we can't flee Velka. Consul Dogo has figured out where Samuel's hideout is. So you, we need to eliminate the Stormrush Kubai and the bloody Half Moon Laddick guarding the hideout. So we need to go to Samuel's residence cell portal. Which we will do after I turn in all these quests. So, lots of quests there. And then the price of hubris is the next one. Talk to Tulu Tulu. <laughs> this is the teleport master, so we can use him to teleport to the lower level, but I'm not going to yet. I'm actually going to go inside, and I'm going to turn in this quest, and then I'm going to climb down the stairs. Uh, am I going to climb down the stairs? Nah, I'm not going to climb down the stairs. I'll come back out. Anyway, we got the moon fists. Weapon is not superior to ours. But we do have a better, a much better hover, so I'm going to de-equip these, and I'm going to equip this. Still only has three crystal slots, so we're going to equip those. We go up the stairs. The Gula bandits are for some reason just chilling. There we go, you're all dead. Give me, like, nothing useful except for that safe haven teleport scroll. In fact, as most of this gold isn't actually helpful because I'm getting more gold through stuff. Like I'm at 460. I started this episode at 424, and I'm at 463 gold. I mean, it hasn't really been much from these guys. It's been more from completing quests. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna talk to Jaskus. I'm gonna get. I'm just gonna get on my horse because it's a much faster base movement speed. So we're gonna come in here, talk to Jaskus. Turn in both of those quests, get a bunch of gold and experience. And now we're gonna head on out and go talk to Teleport Master, Tulu Tulu.
That is pretty much just telling you that there's a really easy way to get back down deep into the labyrinth without having to walk. And we're actually going to take that. And what it does is it, is it ports us to the other teleport master deeper in, so. All the Gula bandits are here fighting. Hi. Drop anything for me? Drop some gold. Okay. I like how the Kaya Sword soldiers are just here to just kill those guys every time they walk down here. Anyway, so we're gonna port into the Azrael Labyrinth depths. And from here, actually can, um, we're gonna go over here. <laughs> we're going to complete this quest by going over the Dead Centurion. And then we have another quest we can do that uh, happens after you complete some of the other ones. Okay, let's go over to the Dead Centurion, let's turn this in. And now, I'm gonna head over and grab that other quest and then we're gonna come over here to Samael's residence. Uh, teleportal, and we're gonna use it. But I, don't, I don't remember what this quest is. I think it's just a find the corpse and get out thing. So we're probably gonna go over to there, and then we're gonna come back and go that way. Looks like you're both dead. No drops. Of course not. Oh, Nilos. Oh yeah, his corpse or his skeleton. Circle's complete. Okay, there's a Glorine. St okay, so we need to take his, uh, his ring to Glorine at the Relic Hunter Outpost. I mean, I'm going to pick up a little bit more experience just from killing these guys. Still no drops. You know what, I'll just go this way. It's fine. It's whatever. There's less backtracking this way. Because I'm not going down and then up again. Anyway, of course, no Tabrook. That's not a surprise. Oh, there's a lot of zealots here for the caimans. One guy survived. No, he didn't. <laughs> anyway, now for this. That's done. Oh, thank you, game. Okay, now we're going to keep going this way. <coughs> and that's still on cooldown. I determined that with Bull Rush you can go about 44 meters um, at that higher speed, so just something to note. I think it's 44. From what I was able to test around with, I think I got 44. That test was a while ago though, so no promises there. Anyway, kill these two, and we enter here into the foyer with Samael's residence, so we need to kill these two guys. Not hard by any means. They're dead. And now we need to check the portal. This is the teleportal Dogel described, so we gotta join Sama or Dogel at Samael's residence to stop the traitor. Welcome to Samael's residence. So now let's go confront Samael. So teleport and join forces, so we gotta confront Samael. You got Godsoul, I'll give you that. Think big picture though, do you really think you can take me down? So here's Dogel, he just arrived. I never thought something like this could happen. Must not waver, on my honor it won't. Time has come to put an end to Samuel's treachery. He's betrayed everything we've fought for, but the entire Federation at risk. Are you ready? We'll take him together. Small. I'll 
cut you down to size, traitor. I love how in that animation I ran forward and was holding my sword or my we uh, my fist like I had a weapon and I was ready to fight, but I actually didn't have my or my weapons were still on my back. So now, Samael is changing, and now we have to kill Bell Samael. Very easy boss, not hard by any means. You win, fools. I hope you realize that your tiny victory changes nothing. What's the matter, Dugo? Too small for Kill the last couple of these guys. Just get them out of the way. <laughs> so now we need to talk with Seabel as she arrives with Sayer and Elian. Let's talk with Seabel. So you did well. You passed my test and proven yourself a true hero of the Federation. Samuel's fall from grace is sad. He was a great soldier, but he made his choice. No doubt his death will cripple the Scions. Uh, for now, accept my gratitude and respect. You served Velka well. You saved my city and perhaps my life. Thank you. This is Seabel. This isn't Velik. So Siebel was Velik. Plot twist, kind of. Anyway, now we need to talk to Sayer. Well fought. If it wasn't for you and Elaine, we may have lost everything. Who'd have thought Samuel could end up this way? Ordering the Rangers to track down the remaining Scions. If we can eliminate their leaders, we can end them as well. We get a new, another new weapon, which is still not better than what we have, but it's close. So we're gonna finish that quest. We got a million two hundred thousand experience. And now. Vanguard Initiative, mission complete. Unfortunately, we can't do anything for that special, but we got the achievement unmasked for completing this quest. And then we also get a 50% XP boost for an hour, Kaya's Dedication 2, and simple refreshing undergarments. The undergarments are so good. So we're going to take all these items. And now if we look at the undergarments, okay, so this straightforward 50% experience for one hour of play can only be used characters below level 64, or 65 because 65 is the cap. Between level 1 and 50, increases attack speed by 4%, attack damage by 10%, defense by 10%. Doesn't stack with effects received via instance matching. And then undergarments, gives us defense and balance, and then gives us 3,000 max HP. So let's equip it. Soulbind it. <coughs> and now we just got a hell of a lot tankier, and our item level went up drastically. Like, if I take it off, like... Look at this change. So if I take it off, item level... Oh, no, it's, oh, it only goes up by 4. Never mind. Anyway. So, oh, that's not a better weapon. That's not a better weapon. That's the old... Anyway. So now that that's finished, our next thing to do is to go to Pora Elenu after talking to Glorine and talk to Lienin 
and do that quest chain. Because now we're done here in Samael's residence. It's a nice place. Actually, can you go up the stairs and explore? I've never tried this. Oh my god, you can explore his house. Kind of. He has a really nice library, though. I like how it's also just one room, besides the fact that that door has a teleportal in front of it. Of course, you can't see anything out the windows because it's just a texture, but these are some pretty nice libraries. Anyway, we're going to jump off his balcony, and we're going to exit the teleportal. And I think that's where we'll call it for this episode, after we talk to Glorine. So, we managed to master the Azer uh, Azerel's Labyrinth by um, showing that we were dominant by murdering a bunch of the monsters that live inside of it. As well as unearthing a conspiracy by one of the top commanders of the Valkyan Federation. And also for completing that quest, we get the Ring Bearer achievement. So also going over achievements, this time we got Vista Islands 2, Southern Iron Vistas, Amaze Mastered, Bork Bork Bork, Unmasked, and Ring Bearer. I actually think Unmasked is... Is that in here? Yeah, it is. Okay, Fall the Betrayer quest. So all of these, by the way, just give us ti probably titles. Yeah, these all just give us titles. This doesn't give us titles, though. Anyway... That was pretty much it for this episode. So next time on Terra, we are going to not counter it. We're going to make our way to Pora LNU and talk to Lienin and start the quest, this story quest, A Tale of Two Tales. See you guys then.